Are you trying to improve how you cook meat, such as not drying it out or undercooking it? Or perhaps you're fine tuning that art to nail that perfect medium steak. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my number one food cooking hack, which is actually a gadget that you simply put in the meat and it guides you how to cook it perfectly. I'm Paul here on the Friendly Reviewer, where we're doing a tech and gadget review, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can watch more videos just like this one. Meter was nice enough to send us this product. We've had a blast reviewing it and checking it out. You can find a link to it in the description below, as well as perhaps a discount code. So let's go check it out. The meter comes in simple packaging, and inside you'll find everything you need. The meter itself is a 5 inch temperature probe that is sleek and has a minimalistic look to it. The first two and a half inches of the probe is the internal meat thermometer, and the back portion is the ambient thermometer. Just make sure when you use it, the first two and a half inches is inside the meat, which is indicated by the little groove. The bamboo charging base looks great as well. You simply store the meter in the charging base when you're not using it. There are spring-loaded clips that securely hold the meter in place, and there's a button to test the status of the AAA battery that's located on the back. We haven't had the meter for enough time, but they say one AAA battery can recharge it 100 times, which will last you quite a while. And the magnets on the back of it will allow you to hang it on the fridge or place it anywhere you'd like. Setting up the meter was super easy. First, flip it over and pull out that little plastic tab so the battery can power the charging base. After about an hour initial charge, you can remove the probe from the base and now it'll be able to connect with your device. On that device, make sure Bluetooth enabled, download the meter app, launch that app, and in there go and connect on the pairing for that probe. And now you're ready to go. It's really that simple. Using the device is even easier. All you do is click that big blue circle in the middle to start a cook. Based on what you're cooking, you're gonna pick either beef, pork, poultry, lamb, fish, or other, which is custom, where you can pick your own temperature and notifications. Within each category, it's gonna allow you to pick even a level deeper of what are you cooking and how do you want it done. I really like this because it also has the USDA recommendations in it, so you can be safe. Really appreciate that. You click start cook and you're off. That's really about it. The user interface is very minimalistic and I like it a lot. It shows you just what you need to know and nothing else. There's the ambient temperature, which is the internal temperature of your oven or your grill or whatever you're cooking with. There's the internal meat temperature, what you care about the most, and then the goal temperature. And that's pretty much it. But that's where things get really cool. If you click on the little graph button at the bottom, you can see the data from over time on how your internal temperature is changing as well as the ambient temperature is changing. You'll notice little fluctuations, how your oven works, if you open up the door to your grill or whatever you're doing. That's really useful data and pretty cool to dive into. You can also set up all sorts of alarms on it. If you're grilling out, you really have burners and there's no temperature control and you can set them for high and low temperatures to warn you that you need to change things. You can also set it up for different time periods before the meat's done. And speaking of which, this is gonna tell you to pull out the meat prior to it reaching the temperature because there's a resting time where the temperature keeps rising for a little bit afterwards for a few degrees or a few minutes to get just perfect. So far, our family's tried it out with meatloaf in the oven, liked it a lot. We've tried it with chicken, steak on the grill, you name it, we've tried it, except you cannot use it inside a pressure cooker. So don't do that because moisture could get inside of it. But other than that, you can use it pretty much anywhere else. And circling back to that beginning statement that I made, I'm trying to fine tune my art to get that perfect medium steak. And I really struggle with it because I'm always trying to make sure I cook it enough, but not overcook it.
Well, this thing did amazing and gave us the perfect medium ribeye steaks. Super impressed with it. Let me know in the comments below what you'd use the meter to cook. To clean it, simply pull it out of the meat after you're done, making sure to be careful because it's gonna be hot, and just rinse it off using soapy water. After it dries, put it in that charging base and it's ready to go again for the next round. All right, I'm pretty excited about this product as you can tell, but before I can give my recommendation, I need to do a couple tests to verify the specifications. And the first of which is the temperature accuracy. So I use the thermopin to verify it and they're both within 1% of each other, so that one's pretty much dead on. The second test is the range of the Bluetooth. Per their specs, inside a grill, it's gonna get about 10 feet, and outside it, it's gonna get you up to about 33 feet. So I performed three different tests. The first test was on the stove top, just leaving it on there, and I could go anywhere in my house, the second story, the middle floor, the basement, even outside my full yard, and it wasn't until I got to my neighbor's yard that it cut off, so that's just performing stellar. I couldn't ask for anything better. The second test was in my oven. I put it in there and closed it, and I can get anywhere inside my house, and when I get outside my house, start to get halfway through my yard is where it cuts off now. So that's still really impressive. And then the third test was inside my grill that's in my backyard, so that's gonna have a little bit more difficulty. And I can go anywhere on the main floor or in my backyard, but if I went to my second floor or the basement or front yard is where it would cut off again. So really it's performing well within spec. One thing I was really curious is what would happen whenever you get back in range and how would it reconnect? And it was seamless, you didn't really have to click anything, it just connected back and you were good to go. I think the Bluetooth coverage is sufficient, but if you wanna go beyond there, Meter has you covered. What you can do is enable Meter Link and then leave a device such as an iPad or another device near the Meter probe within range of that Bluetooth. That device then connects to your home Wi-Fi network and then any other device on the network with the Meter app can see what's going on. So this is gonna expand your coverage to your full Wi-Fi network. If you wanna go beyond there, they also have a good coverage as well. What you can do is take that same device that's connected to your probe, enable the cloud. So Meter Cloud is enabled, that's gonna go through your Wi-Fi network to the cloud out to the internet. That's gonna allow you from anywhere that you can get a connection to the internet, so that could be your cell phone coverage or whatever you're doing to be able to see what's going on. So that means you can be at the supermarket and even check in on things. If you're actually gonna to go to the supermarket and use this, I'd suggest adding a little bit more than the five minute timer because all it's gonna tell you is your food's already done and you need to pick up pizza. So maybe a little bit longer of a timer, but this is really cool that you can check on it anywhere. The other thing I was very impressed with, I do a lot of network reviews on this channel, is how easy it was to set up. I just signed on with Google with each device. It connected everything together, connected to my home network. Really, it was just one click of a button and everything just worked. There was no troubleshooting or anything. I was super impressed by that. Speaking of meter length, there's a new product coming out called the Meter Block. It comes with four probes, so that's gonna allow you to put a probe in each stake that you're cooking at once to monitor them all separately. This all connects together via the link so you can monitor everything at once. That's pretty cool and worth checking out. Overall, after all the tests, I couldn't be happier with the meter. This hack for cooking meat really takes all the guesswork out. Now, if you're looking for a gift for a friend or family member that loves cooking, they would just love this. It'll really up their game. And if there's someone that cooks for you that is really bad at cooking meat, get them this and just don't tell them why. Remember, all the information is in the description below. This has been Paul with The Meter. Thank you for watching. If you're still here watching this, click over there and you can subscribe to the channel or check out some other videos they made.